known as airborne. Wounded that bird on patrol. Watch out. Up. Jamming us. Sniper, top of the tower. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Hey dirt. We've got the location of the cartel boss's house. Time to pay the boss a visit. That tank goes down. Got a location here for a chemical institute run by the cartel. Looks like the Buchon himself is responsible for training the students. Let's check it out. Looks like some kind of school. That's the chemical institute. Hold up. Looks like we've riled them up. Spotted. That's like the local Buchan. Let's grab him and hold on. Oh God! Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I don't know anything. I swear, I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He he's the boss. You know, he runs everything. Where can I find him? He's supposed to be at the witch's market later, but I don't know when. Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Tell him it's important. Then you let me go? That depends on how convincing you are. Hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Bowman, this is Nomad. The cartel patrol in Libertad is the U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. I'm going after him now. Nomad, I just uploaded a video for you. Should give you some background info on the local boss. Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Shelter guy that he was thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high-quality cocaine. 
True. Most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus. Just not for much longer. We're entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. Huh? Back off! I'm a scientist! Hands! Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists! You've got no right! I'm an American citizen! Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Oh shit, Jensen's getting away. That LT's getting away. Firing. Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing in a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. Let's get back to business. Pretty good-sized city, considering the location. Reminds me a little bit of Houston. Everything is built around the oil refinery. I'm a scientist. You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know, and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Hostiles. The great writer Balsic once said, To have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. It's Bowman. Looks like the damage you've done to the cartel production network just another dividend. What's up? Forcing the gringa and el yayo to start cutting the purity of their cocaine has caused prices to drop and done a lot of damage to the cartel's rep. Sucks to be them. What's it do for us? We got la gringa, but Sueño still needs a dog to kick. 
Yayo is managing production while the cartel keeps him prisoner in his own house. Extract El Yayo to an RP. Expect strong opposition. Word is the guards have orders to kill El Yayo if he tries to escape. Roger that. 